How's it going everyone? My name is Aaron and uh, I represent 120 Army, um, a prayer movement um, that you can look us up online or uh, download our app. It's 120 Army. Um, and I wanted to share with you guys a couple of thoughts about prayer. Um, as you can see right here in my backyard, I've dedicated a space in my yard for a calisthenics gym. Um, and the reason I did that was because I'm someone who uh, practices martial arts. I've been teaching it and, and everything a uh, total of about 30 years. And I needed a space that I could actually dedicate to becoming strong, staying fit and, and doing the things that I need to. And prayer is kind of like that. You know, a lot of people, they'll say, oh, I pray all the time or I'm always praying to God. Well, you know, talking at God, thinking about God, thinking about things um, that we need answers to or struggle with is different than dedicating time and space to prayer. In scriptures and Colossians, we're told to dedicate ourselves to prayer. Uh, we also learn in scripture that of all the things that Jesus' apostles could have asked him to teach them, right? He, he brought people back from the dead. He healed the sick. I mean, he did amazing things, walked on water. But of all the things, what they asked was teach us to pray. Prayer is a vital, fundamental aspect of our relationship with the Lord. You know, we don't have friends that we don't talk to. If we don't talk to them, then we're probably not really friends, right? So when we really uh, look at prayer in the way I approach prayer is that I dedicate space to prayer. Right, so in my yard, I've dedicated space for working out. And you can see that there's not just a pull-up bar. There's actually different size pull-up bars. There's dip bars at different widths. There's a push-up bar. There's a big tire there. So I don't just have one specific thing I do or one way I approach prayer. Right? Prayer is something that we can't, uh, we can't fake or make up, right? When you're talking to someone you know or are friends with, you don't fake the conversation and, and make up lies, right? You talk to them about the truth. You talk to them about what's going on or what's happening in your life. And prayer has to be something from the core of you is the truth of who you are, how you feel, what you're doing. And that's what God asks from us. But learning how to be true is something that uh, takes time as well. And I'm not saying being honest, but really being true in your prayers. It gets easy to see things in the world and pray about those, oh God, solve world hunger. Oh God, bring peace back to our streets or whatever it may be. But what are the real deep things that uh, you need? And in my life, I call that glitch hunting. All right, I have all these different bars and stuff like that. And they train my body in different ways as I come out here and I work out you know I find my weaknesses I find those areas that I need to grow in and be stronger in and I can do that right here in the space that I've dedicated and we must dedicate space one to studying and reading the Word of God and when we do that's where we begin to learn as the Apostles asked teach us to pray we begin to learn what really prayer should look like how it should be approached and aspects that uh, mentalities I guess you can say that we can use to approach prayer right to dedicate ourselves to prayer to be persistent in prayer to pray always right to be thankful and grateful in our prayers these are all things that actually begin to teach and, and help us to understand prayer just like going to the calisthenics gym or going to another gym you don't just have one piece of machinery and that's it you've got tons of different types of machines and weights and things that you can use to work even just one part of your body prayer actually is much like that and we've got a, a whole gym right of things that we we can go through and we can use and, and work on getting stronger and in prayer one of the things that I like to uh, suggest to people is to just set an alarm so 120 army what we do is we're based on Psalms 120 verse 1 I cried out to the Lord in my distress and he answered me and so we set a specific time every day at 1.20 p.m. for an alarm to go off and we stop what we're doing and we pray. We dedicate time and space in, in our minds, our hearts, and our lives to God and giving Him the center of that. It's easy to pray in the morning or at night before you, you know, get out of bed, get, get into bed, maybe over your food, but really saying, I'm going to dedicate time. I'm going to dedicate space for God in the middle of my day. And at 1.20 p.m., we have an app that it, it produces a prayer focus. And you can choose to say, okay, every day at 1.20 p.m., I'm going to stop in the middle of my day and pray. And right now, with online school and other things like that, this should be really easy to do. 
for those who want to really kind of challenge themselves, right? Not just have a pull-up bar or just a, a push-up or dip bar. We go a little bit farther. We have a 120 p.m. app uh, alarm on our app that goes off, or you can do a super challenge, and it's it alarm goes off at four times a day at 120 p.m. each time zone. So you know you start off doing one burpee and then you grow to two and three burpees so to speak all right prayer is much like that if you just stay stagnant and just do the same thing all the time sooner or later you're going to get burnt out and so we must be seeing prayer as an adventure like uh, going to the gym and every athlete needs to be working out needs to be doing the things necessary to stay strong stay on top of their game figure out where their weaknesses are so they can improve those things and in prayer, it's an adventure. It's not just a thing we do, right? It's not something you just, we have to pray. Well, we, we should want to pray. We should want to get in the gym. We should want to get on the basketball court, the football field, the baseball field, right? We should want to do those things, not just feel like we have to, because if you have to, well, then you're in the wrong sport. Prayer is something that we can look at as an adventure, going to the gym and finding out, hey, what's another way, Lord, that we can increase our walk together? Right? I always say a good athlete accepts the discipline and the coaching that they need. They show up for practice, they leave when practice is done, right? they try to do their best in staying healthy, but the Olympic athlete, the pro athlete, is the one that shows up ahead of time. They stay after practice. They go to the coach and they ask for the discipline. They ask him to push them. They don't just accept the coaching. And I hope that makes sense to you guys because in prayer, that's where we can really ask God, hey, you know what? Run me down the field, run me as hard as you can, kick me in the backside, and when I fall down, pick me up and let's do this again. I'm gonna show up early, I'm gonna stay late, I'm gonna get the most I can out of this because I don't, I don't wanna just be an athlete. I don't wanna be someone who just prays. I wanna be a, a, a professional a pro athlete, an Olympic athlete. I want to be somebody that, like scripture says, the Lord's ears are attentive to the righteous. Right? That doesn't mean that because we do everything right. The one thing that is perfection to God is the effort that we can put into something. Right? You can put perfect effort into working out, into the sports you play, into reading your scriptures, into seeking God. You can put perfect effort into that. You're never going to be perfect, but we can put perfect effort into chasing Him. And prayer helps us in many ways to really hone and sharpen that, to stay close to Him. Right, to show up on the, the battlefield, so to speak, and say, hey coach, I need you to show me where it is I'm struggling. Show me how to get better at this. Show me where it is that I can, I can use or find tools to get better, stronger in scripture, in, in listening to testimonies, and hearing uh, a sermon, whatever it may be. That's our opportunity. And uh, I really do hope that this is encouraging to someone. Um, prayer is something that I've really built uh, my life around because in the end, uh, uh, we're gonna fail at, at obeying every commandment. We may not always be consistent, right, with everything we do because sometimes the weather doesn't allow me to work out out here, right? So I have to figure something else out. We, we're not always gonna be able to be consistent in everything, but you can be consistently persistent in all that you do constantly returning to the Lord, constantly turning your mind to prayer, constantly going to that space and making time, dedicating time, dedicating space to actually getting stronger. And that's my testimony on prayer, how I approach it. And when you're, you're burnt out and you're feeling like God's not hearing your prayers or you just don't, don't know what to say, hey, that's when we can start rehearsing Bible verses. We can sing a song, listen to something, just sit quietly before Him. There's many ways to actually be in a mindset or a place in heart for prayer. All right? So don't think that it's always just getting on your knees and saying the same thing. All right? You don't want to hear the same thing over and over from people you know and love. So let's try to make sure that we have true dialogue, true conversation with the Lord. And all of that starts by making sure you get dedicated space and dedicated time. So hope that was encouraging to someone. Thank you guys very much for giving me the time to talk. Again, uh, 120 Army, you can find us online um, or you can find our app, 120 Army, on the App Store. Thank you very much and have a good one.